As good as Apple's iOS software has been over the years, the company has been noted for being notoriously stubborn in restricting certain activities, including sideloading. What? Oh man, that's super sad. But a huge change is coming with the introduction of the iOS 17 update. I hope it's good. And together with other features, Apple could land a big blow to Samsung and other competitors. It will hurt. So how does Apple intend to revolutionize its iOS software? Join us in this video as we break it all down. Okay, now I'm excited. CarPlay Update CarPlay has been a popular feature for Apple users since its introduction in 2014, providing a way to use iPhone apps in the car. However, previous versions of CarPlay had limitations that made it difficult for users to utilize the feature fully. Ouch. One of the primary limitations was that it was only available on select display screens in vehicles. This meant that many users were not able to take full advantage of the feature, as they were limited to using CarPlay on a smaller screen. To address these limitations, Apple will make significant improvements to CarPlay in iOS 17. Finally. One of the most significant changes is that CarPlay will now appear on all vehicle display screens, including the infotainment screens, instrument cluster, and any other dashboard available. This gives users more options to control the CarPlay feature and makes it easier to use while driving. Additionally, Apple will add more control options and features to CarPlay. For example, users can now control FM stations, regulate volumes, and access features such as air conditioners, heated seats and wheels, and more from the CarPlay interface. The all-in-one widget feature is another significant improvement, as it will display vital information such as fuel economy, weather, distance traveled, phone calls, and messages, all in one place. However, with these improvements come new challenges. Oh no! Some users may find it difficult to adapt to the new interface and control options, which could lead to distractions while driving. Brace yourselves. For example, the all-in-one widget feature displays a lot of information at once, which could be overwhelming for some users at first. The company may also face similar safety slash security issues with its Play Store app. More details on that shortly. Siri Update For years, Apple's voice assistant, Siri, has been woken up using the phrase, Hey Siri, which has become an iconic part of the Apple ecosystem. However, compared to its competitors such as Amazon's Alexa, Samsung's Bixby, and to some extent, Google Assistant, this wake-up phrase is longer and more cumbersome to use. For instance, Amazon's Alexa requires users to call out the name of the assistant followed by the command. Alexa, play Baby Ko Bass Pasand. Baby Ko Bass Pasand. While Google Assistant allows for follow-up questions, making it easier to use. Hey Google, book a table for two at El Cocotero on Tuesday at 7. All right, just in case that's not available, can I try between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m.? Sure. As a result, Apple intends to change the wake-up phrase for Siri from Hey Siri to just Siri. Just like that. The new wake-up phrase followed by the desired command is shorter and easier to use than the previous phrase, and this simplifies the process of accessing the voice assistant. However, some people may argue that this change is not significant enough to keep up with competitors. While it may help to make the assistant more accessible to users, competitors have been using shorter wake-up phrases for their voice assistants for a while, making this change somewhat belated. One introduction that surely won't be belated, however, is the mixed reality headset compatibility that companies like Samsung are struggling to work on. We will delve into that shortly. But before we do that, Please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications for more insightful content like this. Sideloading Sideloading is the process of downloading and installing apps on a device from sources other than the official App Store. Oh, I see. This feature has been available on Android devices for a long time, but it has not been allowed on Apple devices due to concerns about security. Apple has always maintained that the App Store provides a secure environment for users to download and use apps, and sideloading could compromise this security. The lack of sideloading on Apple devices has been a source of frustration for many users who want to download apps that are not available on the App Store. 
tell me about it. It has also been a challenge for developers who want to distribute their apps directly to their users without going through the App Store. This is because the App Store charges a commission to developers for their apps to be available on the store, which in turn makes apps more expensive for users. I don't want to spend so much. Fortunately for both developers and iPhone users, the company is set to allow the downloading of third-party apps as a result of an enforced law by the European Union. With sideloading, users can download and install apps from sources other than the App Store. That's what I'm talking about. And developers can distribute their apps without having to pay a commission to Apple. This could attract more users to Apple devices, especially those who prefer the flexibility and customization options of Android devices. This could make Apple devices more appealing to budget-conscious consumers who might have otherwise chosen Android devices. While this change is a welcome one for many users and developers, there are concerns about the security implications of sideloading. Apple has always been strict about the apps that are allowed on its App Store to ensure the safety and security of its users. With sideloading, there is a possibility that users might download malicious apps that could compromise their devices. Apple will need to come up with a way to ensure that sideloaded apps are safe and secure for their users. Absolutely. Mixed headset compatibility. AR slash VR technology has become increasingly popular in recent years, with more and more users looking for immersive experiences that go beyond what traditional screens can offer. This has led major tech companies such as Microsoft, Google, and Facebook to invest heavily in AR slash VR technology, creating headsets that offer users high quality immersive experiences. Incredible. Apple has been lagging behind its competitors in this space, as it has yet to develop its own AR slash VR headset. This has been a problem for the company limiting its ability to expand its ecosystem and offer users a better experience. However, with iOS 17, Apple is rumored to be taking steps to improve its AR slash VR capabilities, which could give the company an edge over its competitors, such as Samsung. The potential introduction of the headset could see the integration of native apps such as reminders, mail, and fitness into the AR slash VR environment. This means that users will be able to seamlessly access and use these apps while wearing an AR slash VR headset without having to remove the device. For example, users could receive and respond to emails while immersed in a virtual environment or track their fitness progress while participating in a VR workout. Amazing. However, the success of this integration will depend on the quality of the AR slash VR headset that Apple is able to develop. If the headset is not up to par with its competitors' offerings, users may still choose to go with other brands. This remains just a possibility, but it is actually factual that Apple is planning a massive revolution to its iPhone 16, which competitors might not be able to catch up to. For more details on this, make sure to watch our next video. Will do.